So this right here is the brand new Wachart Plain Promethazine Green Syrup. This has an expiration date of 2024. This is my own personal script, so I'm not going to show you my, you know, information on the other side. But I got this prescribed for motion sickness and for allergies. You know, this is not a scheduled drug. Unfortunately, because of the rap game, because of, you know, Lil Yachty saying he took the walk to Poland, everybody wants Wachart, and the pharmacies simply do not stock them. So I actually had to pay a premium for this bottle, um, four times the regular price of a pint, because, um, you know, this brand simply just is going extinct. You know, um, Morton Grove Pharmaceuticals is, you know, closing down their Illinois manufacturing plant. So there's a lot of shit going down. And there's a lot of people faking even the plain green syrup, leading to a lot of fentanyl overdoses and just a lot of nasty complications, you know, medically, emotionally, you know, and, you know, financially. So I'm going to go through how to tell a real bottle. If you are going to use this to fake a bottle and um, be a scumbag, then go fuck yourself, you piece of fucking shit, because you're actually adding to this entire crisis. This is to show you if what you have matches up with what I have prescribed here. That does not mean follow my advice. Do not buy this stuff off the street and don't even use it. It's not a recreational compound. It was originally used as a very, very weak antipsychotic medication with dopaminergic, you know, um, antagonistic properties. So, you know, kind of the opposite of being recreational. Although new evidence does show promethazine has a slight affinity as an NMDA receptor antagonist, similar to ketamine. It's not a recreational value, just, um, something that was noted. So basically right here we have the walk heart at the top and a really interesting way you can tell right off the bat is if the O or the zero here in the serial number is off centered and misplaced from the C right here, you can see is right directly underneath the C that's how it should be. And a lot of the fake bottles that zero will be right in between the C and the K or just some random place. So, that zero should be underneath the C. This whole bottle should have a pull pamphlet. So you would actually physically pull this label off and it would give you all the drug information. You can kind of see through the bottle there. It even has the chemical structure, promethazine. Over here, you should actually have a scannable barcode as well as the expiration date. Apparently on a lot of the fake ones, they rub off here. So if you take your finger and if it rubs off, then that's a dead giveaway that it's a fake. You can see it says made by Morton Grove Pharmaceuticals. On the top, there's a scannable barcode on a sticker, which I thought was kind of interesting. But um, that as well, you should see when you unscrew the cap, there should be a layer of material saying sealed for your protection in an unusual font. Um, that's another giveaway sign. On the bottom, it should be PETE plastic. And um, it should say ARC Pharmaceuticals, which you can see right there. On a lot of the bottles, it's a little bit smudged. That's just naturally how it is. If you see it's way too pronounced, um, you know, and way too, almost too good to be true, then it might be because a lot of the times the fakes look better than the real bottles. The fakes will not have any smudges on the labels. The fakes will have overpronounced font and colors just to make it look real. So that's another thing. Um, again, stay out the streets. There's no reason to be drinking this shit to begin with. Um, unless you have allergies and you get it from a doctor. Wachart as a brand is basically extinct. Now Tris Pharmaceuticals has just come out with their new um, green promethazine line, as well as Quagen has um, you know, really been representing their brand. So there are a few chemical manufacturers right now that are really producing green promethazine and putting it out there. But as far as codeine with promethazine is basically extinct, no manufacturer really wants to promote it or, um, you know, no retail pharmacy wants to fill any prescriptions. So you'd have to go through an independent pharmacy. It's a big hassle. Lean is basically dead. And if you're buying anything off the street, just know it's basically either benzo juice or fentanyl and you will most likely die. So stay the fuck off the streets. Talk to a doctor if you have any problems. Good luck out there.